Welcome to the NGPUSIM tutorial, exploring multi-GPU simulation and visual profiling with NGPUSIM. This tutorial has been made possible thanks to the research collaboration between different institutions, Northeastern University, Boston University, UCAM University, KAIST, and the AMD company. My name is Jose Luis Avellan. I am an associate professor at UCAM University. My colleagues, Jifan Sun and Trina Jan Barba, two PhD candidates, from Northeastern University, who are supervised by Professor David Kelly, will be also presenters of this tutorial. We all hope you enjoy all lessons of this tutorial so that you can learn the foremost basics on how to use a modified MGPU SIM to support your research. This tutorial is our extended version of the Akita Simulator Framework and MGPU SIM tutorial that we presented in February at HPCA. Now, we will show you new capabilities and advanced features that we have recently incorporated into the NGPU SIM simulator. Through our improved presentations and new hands-on material, we expect that we, you will gain a more in-depth understanding of NGPU SIM and its key benefits. In particular, you will learn how to model and simulate both single GPU and multi-GPU execution, how to configure and simulate different multi-GPU flavors, such as a discrete multi-GPU and unified multi-GPU. How to configure and simulate customized multi-GPU systems, such as a big little GPU model. And we will introduce our new tool named Dayson, which is a powerful visual tool for detailed visual profiling and performance analysis. This tutorial is split into six different parts that include several topics each. The first part is the introduction, which is this video. The second part is Akita, that is the underlying framework that was used to implement NGPU SIM. Then Trina Jan will explain our NGPU SIM simulator in the third part. After that, in the fourth part, Jifan is going to introduce our DSIM tool for visual performance analysis. Also, he will expose some interesting key points of discussion in the fifth part regarding the usage of Go programming, how to use magic in simulation, some useful coding practice, and the roadmap of NGPU SIM. Finally, I will give you some closing remarks regarding the tutorial in our last conclusion part. Okay, so let's start with the first part of the tutorial, introduction to Akita and NGPU SIM. GPUs are at the core of the most powerful, powerful supercomputers to accelerate a wide variety of applications, for instance, data-centric applications from big data and artificial intelligence-based workloads that are nowadays evolving at a rapid rate. As a result, to efficiently support these challenging workloads, major GPU vendors are exploring multi-GPU implementations such as NVIDIA DGX solutions and the promising frontier project for AMD. As multi-GPU systems are becoming widespread solutions for HPC and data centers, there are still several challenges that must be resolved. Examples are designing the most efficient GPU microarchitecture, building the highest performing intra and inter GPU interconnects, implementing the most optimized memory communication schemes. And last but not least, giving support for the most suitable programming model to maximize programmers' productivity. To overcome these barriers and accelerate the chip designing process required for manufacturing the next generation multi-GPU platforms, rapid and wide design space exploration of multi-GPU systems is necessary. To meet this goal, the computer architecture research community needs an architectural simulator such as NGPU SIM. As shown on the slide, without architectural simulation, the chip designing process becomes much slower, as every architectural design idea is tested through a complex and error prone RTL design that is synthesized through physical design tools and cumbersome verification steps before the actual manufacture. However, this process is not ideal and multiple iterations will be required 
in order to optimize the original design or to solve issues related to physical design and verification. This way, the time to manufacture process might be really long, which further aggravates if different architectural design ideas must be explored as part of the design space exploration. To expedite the long chip designing process, we need architectural simulation. In this case, implementing the architectural design ideas involves defining a simpler high-level language design written in C++ or Go, as an MGPUC, into an architectural simulator. Then, verification of the design is carried out through much simpler software testing. Of course, this also requires some iterations to derive the final design, although by using this much shorter architectural design prototyping, we are able to perform a broader and faster design space exploration of architectural enhancements during the early stages of a computing platform. After that, once we have tested a promising architectural prototype using the simulator, we can continue with the needed chip designing process. Given that we will need fast and accurate architectural simulators for multi-GPU systems, we propose NGPU SIM that we teach in this tutorial and is implemented through the Akita framework. Now I will define a little bit more what Akita and NGPU SIM are. On the one hand, Akita is a general event-driven computer architecture simulation framework that aims at fast chip design prototyping. I will provide a more in-depth description of Akita in the Akita part of the tutorial. We leverage this framework to make much easier the implementation of NGPUSIM. On the other hand, NGPUSIM is an AMD Graphic Core Next 3 GPU cycle accurate architectural simulator that enables faithful multi-GPU simulation. We will detail NGPU SIM and the NGPU SIM part of the tutorial. Both Akita and NGPU SIM are open sourced under the MIT license and are developed with the Go programming language. In the discussion part of the tutorial, we will explain why we chose Go. Note that we separated the framework implementation from the simulator infrastructure because by doing that, we can obtain framework generality that is, Akita can be used to implement other event-driven architectural simulators and allows us to perform agile development so that each part can be modified independently and easily. NGPUSIM was published in the past ISCA conference. We demonstrated that NGPUSIM has been extensively validated against real hardware based on a multi-GPU system with two and the R9 nano GPUs. In particular, we fine-tuned the GPU model in NGPU SIM by means of a broad set of 57 micro benchmarks that cover a wide range of instruction types and memory access patterns. Besides, we used full benchmarks such as those in the table, Etonic, Fear, or Matrix Multiplication for validation. Considering the execution time as the validation metric, we show on the slide four micro benchmarks that were used to validate the ALU operation latency. As long as the L1 and L2 caches and DRAM memory access latencies. As we can see on the left hand figures, NGPU SIM almost perfectly matches the execution times reported by the real R9 nano GPU. As to the full benchmarks, as shown the right-hand figure, NGPU SIM reports only an average error of 5.5% in total execution time compared to the real GPU. These results clearly evidence that our simulator is highly accurate. NGPU SIM comes with inbuilt support for multi-threaded execution to enable fast parallelized simulation without any loss in accuracy when compared to serial simulation. As we can see, when activating the multi-threaded simulation or running the full benchmarks, we can achieve almost two times 
average speed up for both functional emulation and detailed timing simulation on a two core CPU. We will cover these two modes of simulation in the MGPU same part of the tutorial. Also, when running the experiments on a four core CPU, we obtain even higher speed ups, up to 3.5x. The results clearly demonstrate that we can take advantage of the multi-threaded capability of NGPU SIM to achieve faster simulations. In this slide, besides the ISCA publication where we published our NGPU SIM simulator, we would like to list some other recent publications that have been made possible thanks to the NGPU SIM, such as IPDPS, CAL, HPCA. These publications are contributing back to extend and improve NGPU SIM with new features such as concurrent execution or GPU GPU page migration. Hence, it becomes evident that NGPU SIM is growing quickly. And more importantly, our simulator is clearly aiding researchers to validate their architectural design ideas for optimizing both single GPU and multi GPU implementations. We are proud to announce that NGPU SIM is fostering a rich research community from both academia and, in, and industry. On the slide, we saw the link to the Akita project where you can find our NGPU SIM subproject. Also, to collaboratively work on the Akita based subprojects, we take advantage of a Slack channel. To get ready for the next tutorial videos and hands-on material, we recommend the following. Have an internet connection. Install Git. Install the Go environment. Use your favorite code editor, such as VS Code, and enable the Go extension for the code editor. Thank you very much for your attention. And please, don't miss the next video of our tutorial devoted to describe the Akita framework. Bye-bye for now.